Look weigh at yourself, that. But. 219. His, he walks around at, well, he weighs in at 184, and then he weighs in on the fight day at 219. That's crazy. That's I don't so get big. It. He's a heavyweight. Yeah, yeah. Very, he's a fucking heavyweight. Very soon, there will be a battle in the light heavyweight division that is worthy of aspiring to be one of the best in the division's history. Oh, oh, Good because he's. Oh! oh that's a oh, fucking oh, That's why! Oh, that's why! That's why! You. Oh, that's why! You. Oh, that's why! You. Oh, that's You. Oh, that's why! 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 You. Since John Jones left his throne, we got a proper replacement of the champion in the face of the Brazilian Poetan and Czech Samurai. Yeah, and uh, you see him working out in the woods too, like ties pads around trees and he's kicking and punching trees, like very strange. Yeah. He seems like a super odd dude. He was doing something that's not wise though. Like he was patting Glover, saying, Good job, you're doing a good job. Like In the, the middle of the fight? Yeah. Oh. And you know, Mark Goddard was telling him, like, hey, you're playing a fucking dangerous game because that seems like you're tapping. Yeah. Like what are you doing? On November the 11th at UFC 295, the MMA community will witness the clash of two different worlds, two elements of mixed style. And considering that, we present to you an epic promo of the upcoming event. Please don't forget about the likes, comments with four words and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Let's start with Alex Pereira. When it comes to hitting people, that Dude, he's fucking technical too, man. Yeah. It's not just power. Yeah. The way he's setting Izzy up. The left hook. The left hook is, is so fast. murderous. And he checks kicks as yeah. good as anybody, man. In case somebody doesn't know, Alex Pereira came from kickboxing. And he was so successful that besides a couple of victories over the last stylebender, he has many glory championships and his own spot in the Hall of Fame. After two wins over Israel Adesanya in this sport, a few years later, the Brazilian went on to conquer the mixed martial arts following the path of Izzy. Just a couple of vivid performances and knockouts brought Poetan straight into the world's best league that gladly welcomed a famous performer. There happened to be enough hype and buzz around this guy for the media community to be interested in his fight against the New Zealander and start to wait for the announcement of the upcoming bout. The moment that he find out that I signed right here, I believe that he's already been worried about because he know of my potential and he knows how far I can get. In just one calendar year, Alex Pereira broke into the top five of the middleweight division and laid his claims on the title opportunity. Many people talk about my two wins, wins over Israel designer and say there was on kickboxing. Today I just beat defeat the number four on the rank, so I know I earned that. On November the 12th of 2022, in the main event at UFC 281, the Brazilian stopped the last style bender and snatched his belt. Declaring the winner by TKO and no! UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world. Well, come to this fight, I knew it was going to be a very hard fight, you know. <coughs> tried everything, tried to pace myself, but going to the last round, my corners and Glover kept it real with me. Look in my eyes and say, I look at him action and I say, do I have to knock him out? And Glover say, you do have to knock him out. And then I say, okay, let's do it. Considering the legacy of Israel Adesanya in the division, the major promotion did not hesitate and decided to organize a rematch between the former kickboxers for UFC 287 in April. Call me out. Even I am scared of myself. I am breaking mirrors at home so I can avoid myself. Wow, it all comes down to this, the final five minutes to determine the UFC's interim middleweight champion. Get him a little more time, a little more time, gotta clean it up. Izzy's intention was clear from the very beginning, and as history taught us, it prevailed over the power and size of Poetan on that night. 
But Pereira did not stop on that. Three months later, his hunger for competing and performing led him to fighting the former light heavyweight champion in the face of the pole, Jan Blakovic. Uh, when I hear that he will come to, to our division, so I just, you know, uh, want to fight against him and uh, talk with my manager. Uh, and they do this fight, you know, it was easy. Well, after the last fight, you know what I mean? He never questioned, you know what I mean, his manager George and Ed Suarez got this fight booked for him and in certain way if maybe had asked him before, he would have said that he's happy to go fight straight for the belt. But on the other hand, being able to fight Young is a very good test for him. It's a good way for him to prove to everybody that he's ready to fight for the 205 belt and that he he also belongs on the weight class. So he's about to turn 36. He don't have too much time to be playing around, but on the other hand, it's a good way for him to start with the right foot on the weight class. The Brazilian's transition to the upper weight class went in the best way possible. Even in such a short period, he managed to go through a needed preparation to neutralize Blakovic's strong sides and break into the title picture of the new division. That dude is different. He's like, he's scary. He's scary. That so dude has nuclear power. He's got, he's got crazy power. Even when he was over in glory, I was a big fan of his over in kickboxing. He was f***ing everybody up in two different weight classes over there. Even at 205, he was knocking people dead. And now, let's get to his future opponent. Hey. Yuri Prohaska is a vivid and charismatic knockout artist from the Czech Republic that rather recently arrived in the world's best league and conquered the fans' hearts literally from the get-go. Earlier, he got a severe shoulder injury due to which he had to vacate the championship, which we will talk about further on. But before that, he has been competing in Japan for a long time, and the crowd could not wait for his fights and performances. In the past, this guy was the Ryzen light heavyweight champion held the belt in the Gladiator Fighting Championship League, and of course, he is a former champion of the world's best league in the same weight class. I pray for uh, for the quick quick way, because the fighting, I like the fighting, but I don't like to, to, um, to hurt people. Since he arrived in the major promotion, the Czech showcased his best sides, getting rid of Vulcan Ozdemir and Dominic Reyes in an extremely brutal and impressive fashion. Yeah, it's a great feeling, but uh, uh, Dominic was a great opponent. Dominic was a great opponent and he's a nice, nice, nice guy like a person. Because uh, after the fight and before the fight, I feel I felt from him uh, uh, just nothing, no hate, no uh, just pure fighting, and that's all about this. Two quick and dynamic knockouts earned Prohaska a shot at the title. That kind of a fight, the Yuri Prohaska Glover Teixeira fight, is the kind of fight that makes fans. Sure. Like if sure. you never watched MMA before and you watched that crazy fucking fight, like. Whew. On June the 12th of 2022 at UFC 275, he put on a bloody massacre with Glover Teixeira and beat him via submission in the final round. His own on the ground was the best. Glover has made some technical mistakes tonight. Correct. There's been some opportunities, some control. Oh! It's out! He's got it's me! Under the he, he got the hand down. He got the hand. hand. He got the hand. No, but they still got it again. Oh, yeah! Yeah! I never fought. I never fought. That's that's why it's good to not thinking I'm in the fight. And uh, I thought uh, I will be. I will show the best, better performance. Sorry for that. And next time I will be better. Satisfaction. Satisfaction after a long, long time of preparation and making my style uh, ready to defend the tough wrestling style and make a surprise like a submission. 
Yuri's compliance with samurai code and studying of Eastern philosophy in combination give this very effect that results in spectacular performances inside the octagon. And here's where his nickname originates from, Czech Samurai. Contrary to many prospects and even some of the veterans, Prohaska prefers to show himself in the cage and not outside of it, which only gives him more points in the eyes of the fighting community. Now, I have the co-main event. Former light heavyweight champion Yuri Prohaska faces former middleweight champ Alex Pereira for the vacant 205-pound title. Well, uh, analyzing his game, you know, without going too deep, he's a, he's a striker, that, he's a kind of guy that can change a lot of his game depending on his opponent. He fought Dominic Reyes one way, he fought Glover the other way, you know what I mean? And look at me to him for an example, people sometimes you're going to say, ah, you know what I mean, you got to, you know what I mean, Glover win, you know what I mean, you, you're going to win, but the, the camps are different, the way that, they, you know what I mean, the Glover did the train, the way the Alex do the train more for a striker. You know what I mean? But can't just go too deep on his game, you know what I mean? Okay. Without giving too much. But I see some stuff over there. I see some some stuff over there that he can work that nobody sees. Wow. See, I appreciate Piera so much because Piera's record is that of an amateur. He's like seven and oh, it might be eight, or, or not an O, but like eight fights in total. It's very small, but he could also go into the Hall of Fame and nobody would disagree. And by the way, if he wins the light heavyweight championship this year, the same calendar year that he was the 85 pound champion, they could nominate him for fighter of the year with an amateur record that doesn't go to the ground. He's never had a wrestling match. I mean, the guy really is quite amazing. I underestimated Prohaska. I had lunch with King Mo who fought him twice and Mo talked my ear off telling me how special he was. And I walked out of that lunch and uh, I was at a hotel and I ran into CB Dalloway in the lobby CB had fought him and did the same thing. And King Mo and CB don't compliment anybody ever. And they both complimented this guy back to back. So Prohaska does something special. So who wins? That's a tough one. I'll take uh, Piera just because of the activity. You see, who is it that's going to come out up, up top? Remember, the storyline of this whole situation is Yuri Prohaska beat Glover to Sheriff. You guys remember that? Yuri Prohaska beat Glover Teixeira. Is this a revenge for Alex Pereira, for his teammate, for his mentor that he really wants to take out? It will be an unforgettable spectacle. We are scared to imagine what these two warriors can put on if they are both motivated, fired up to the max and ready to crush for the sake of their legacy. Who do you think will get the upper hand in November and become the new UFC light heavyweight champion? Leave your opinion in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new videos. And of course, hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. See you soon.